Okay, this is my unboxing of our Gab watch that we just ordered for my son. So I want to show you what's in here. The watch. Now we're in Utah, but this shipped super quick. And then we also got a little screen protector, which was like 10 bucks, I think. So there's that. All right, so there's the watch in all of her beauty. So let's pull it out here. See what else we've got in here. Looks like a charger. And come on. Oh, it's stuck onto the bottom of that. And a wall plug. And a little instruction manual. Okay, so power buttons here on the side. I just pushed that. Oh, it's turning on for us. And they sent me a phone number with the email already. Now the bands, you can buy a different band. I just got the one it comes with. Looks like you just push that tab there and you can detach the band. So that's nice. It seems like a nice, good quality material. Now, one thing I'm looking at right away, this is going to be a little bit big on my six-year-old's wrist it's about the same size as my smartwatch and so that will be a little bit big being designed for a kid it looks like i've got this code here though this qr code so i'm going to go ahead and download the app so i can scan that. okay so i've got the app installed now this is on an android and so i'm going to go ahead and create an account here and then i'll show you what that looks like once i've got it okay so apparently i already had an account if you already ordered a watch you probably do as well so it's gonna go ahead and confirm this. I'm gonna go over to my email. Here's the email, I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that. Take me back to the app. I'm gonna let it use my GPS. And then we're gonna add a device. Okay, so put our, my child's information in here. And then on the next screen, we're gonna scan the QR code. So I'm gonna let that use the camera. I'm um, not sure why I did that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's on the watch. And for some reason it is not scanning. Well, we're just gonna enter this number then, I guess. Okay, so after I put in that phone number and the IMEI, it's showing me a code on my watch that I'm gonna type in here. And then we'll hit next. Okay, so I want to go ahead and add that to my contacts, and we're good. I can play a sound to find the watch or the child. I can just push the locate button, I can call them, I can message them. What this looks like on the watch is just letting me know that that pairing is successful. Here we go, here's the actual watch options here. And then if I just kind of scroll around, there's the time, alarms, can't tell what that one is. Maybe turning the sound, oh, volume up or down, or turn it on vibrate. Okay. Yep, that's on vibrate. Okay, sound up or down. How do I get back? There we go. Oh, yep, you're charging. Okay. I'm guessing that's an alarm. Whoops. Oh, ringtone. Okay. Changing the ringtone. Probably the watch face. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that one. Oh wow, that's very colorful. And then, how long do you want the screen to stay on before it goes off? I do not like this one. Let's go back to that one. Okay, so, oh, or there's a couple options there too. Um, call history, messages, some other options. We'll go through that a little bit more and then it's just gonna cycle through. Uh, a couple final thoughts on this Gab watch. I've been pretty happy with it. It's worked well. It's helped us keep track of our son and be able to communicate with him. Uh, the GPS, I've not been super impressed with. I feel like it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes there will be very long delays and lags, or it'll just be flat wrong. I've looked at it and know that my son is at school, and yet it said he was on the other side of town. And this hasn't happened super frequently, and maybe that's something they've fixed or they're working on. Um, but that kind of defeats the purpose for me if I want to know precisely 
uh, where my son is at, or if I want to know if he's home or at the neighbor's house, but all it tells me is a big bubble that includes the whole neighborhood as to he's somewhere in that vicinity, that's not super helpful for me. Call quality has been really good. Okay, so all things considered, I would say I'm happy that we did make this purchase with the Gab watch. We've had it now several years. Um, we don't use it all the time. Um, every family is going to be different, obviously, and how their kid uses it and how they want their kid to use it. But it is nice to have if we have a kid that's going to a birthday party or that's going to a field trip for school or something like that to pay. I think we pay like 14 bucks a month plus taxes and to have that option of having that watch that we can send with them. Um, it's very straightforward, very simple. There's not a lot of distracting things on there. There's some little basic games, but nothing that they're going to waste hours and hours on. Um, and while there's been a couple of things like the GPS that I discussed earlier, that's not super accurate or super up to date. I still think overall, especially for the price, uh, it's a good product. It's lasted well. The band is peeling just a little bit, not the actual um, material, but kind of the coating on it, but it's worked just fine. Now there's been other generations. Ours was a first generation watch. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please consider subscribing for more helpful content, liking this video to help others find it. Uh, and if you do have any questions or comments, leave those below. I will read those and get back to you. Thanks for watching.